Hey guys, so it's actually the morning before I'm about to go to work um, and I'm filming what I'm calling a farewell video for my kids, uh, for my students, sorry. Um, the reason that I am doing this is because as much as I encourage them to be a great English student, I have not been a good Korean student and I can't say my farewell to them in Korean. As it is, I am trying to learn uh, one farewell in Korean for my whole school that will be broadcasted and is about one paragraph and I am shitting myself. So let's dive into this and this is for my students and I'm going to be playing it for each of my classes. I wish that I was a better Korean student so that I could say this to you in Korean, but unfortunately I'm not. When I moved to Korea one year ago to be your teacher, I didn't imagine that it would be so hard to leave. I really thought that I would have an amazing time here, but that nothing could ever replace my home and my friends in Australia. I know now that although my life in Australia hasn't been replaced and I could never replace it, my life in Korea has been just as meaningful. I love being your teacher more than I expected. Um, and a really big part of my heart wishes that I could stay. Every day I have really mixed emotions about whether or not I'm making the right decision to leave and return to my home, but I hope that this is the best move for my future. However, part of what makes that decision so hard is that it involves leaving behind so many people that I really care about, uh, including all of you as my students. You're a big part of what makes my life in Korea so special. Even on days where I really want to pull my hair out and you're driving me crazy, someone will always make me laugh and make me smile. And there are days that sometimes they're not going great, but it just takes that one student to make it all worthwhile. So I always have a good day. Um, you make every day a mixture of being challenging and interesting and delightful. I hope that you have enjoyed having me as your teacher, even though I'm sure that there are some classes that are really boring or that you don't like or you have to work too hard, but I hope but for the most part, you look back and you've enjoyed it. Uh, as you grow into your teenage years and into adults, I hope you remember me just a little bit um, because I will never forget you. I really care about you and in my dreams, you have long, beautiful, rich and really amazing adventures ahead of you. I have some advice for you. Don't let your life be an unnecessary competition. It's not about being better than anyone else. It's about being yourself. Study hard at the things that you love and that you're passionate about, and you will be rewarded. But not being the best doesn't mean that you don't hold value. You're all unique. And that's why I remember and I think of all of you. Remember to be kind, to be gentle and to be respectful of others. And good things will find their way into your lives. I will be thinking about you and imagining the exciting adventures that await you. And I wish you the best of luck. I hope that your new teacher sees how special you are, just like I have, and that they grow to love you in the same way that I do. So this is goodbye, and it is farewell, but 
know that you are always with me and always in my heart. Okay guys, that was my message to my kids. Um, I hope that you give this a big thumbs up and share it so that um, people can know how a teacher feels here about their students and they can feel some love and some support and yeah and everything that I said was really authentic and I wish that I could just say more and express even more how deeply sincere the feelings are that I have about my time in Korea and how much I've loved every minute of it so yeah, moving back home is going to be a hard journey and I'm almost there, but this has been probably the best year of my life. Until next time, this is the Kimchi Adventures. Thank you.